My name is Riyad Salem. I'm an interventional radiologist at Northwestern University in Chicago. I am part of a multidisciplinary team involved in the management of patients with hepatocellular carcinoma. It is a pleasure to present the findings of our study that will be published in Gastroenterology August 2011. The title of the study is Radiographic Response to Local Regional Therapy in Hepatocellular Carcinoma Predict Patient Survival Times. The rationale of the study is one that involves trying to investigate the role of response in the long-term survival following therapy. One of the most common things that patients ask following treatment has to do with treatment response. Did the lesion get smaller or is the lesion necrotic? Secondarily, many patients always ask about quality of life and overall survival. The rationale for us to study this was to try to see if we could correlate re response to treatment with long-term survival. That is, does response to treatment prognosticate survival? This also has other implications in developing future clinical trials with hepatocellular carcinoma as response rate is a very simple, reproducible, and objective endpoint, whereas it is well known in hepatocellular carcinoma that survival studies may be often confounded by adverse liver functions, by uh, confounding uh, reasons for death, and because of crossover to treatment. Other relevant endpoints that we are studying in hepatocellular carcinoma are time to progression, and again, the intent of our study is to further investigate response rate, a very objective and reproducible endpoint in patients with hepatocellular carcinoma treated with local regional therapy. Over 10 years, we treated 463 patients with local regional transarterial therapy. Of these, we excluded patients that were transplanted, those that had extrahepatic metastases, and those that had portal vein thrombosis, leaving us with 159 patients that were child Pew score B7 or less. In order to investigate the role of response and the effect of tumor response on long-term survival, we used three statistical tools. The first one being a landmark methodology, where clinically relevant landmarks are selected in our study six months and 12 months, where survival from the landmark is assessed in responders versus non-responders. This helps to eliminate unknown confounding variables of early death in HCC patients. As a result, patients that reach the landmark and we follow their survival from the landmark are those with positive biology, and as a result, response can now be used to assess long-term outcome compared to non-responders. The other methodology is called risk of death, where patients at a certain landmark the risk of death following the landmark is tabulated in a percentage after six months. The third method is called the mantle buyer methodology where we calculate a cumulative risk of death as patients shuffle from response to non-response and the cumulative risk of death is tabulated at each level when endpoints are observed. Our results demonstrate that by landmark methodology at six and 12 months, responders do in fact survive longer than non-responders. We also did subset analyses to see whether those that achieved stable disease also benefited from treatment and we did identify that responders in fact survived longer than stable disease patients and those with progressive disease. The mantle buyer method also confirmed that responders did in fact survive much longer than non-responders particularly when using the easel necrosis criterion. As a result, we were able to demonstrate that patients that respond do in fact survive longer than non-responders, and this was not attributable to abnormal liver functions, such as liver failure, or the size of the baseline tumor, as it is possible that patients with smaller tumors were the ones to exhibit response, as opposed to those with larger tumors did not exhibit response. In conclusion, our study suggests that response rate is in fact a very important variable when following patients with hepatocellular carcinoma that undergo treatment using local regional therapy. We are clearly observing in the HCC clinical trial arena studies that have very large sample sizes because of the endpoint of overall survival. 
However, it is clear that overall survival in HCC can be confounded by multiple variables, most clearly that of alternating treatment because patients jump from stage to stage by BCLC classification and hence patients can be treated by multiple therapies and as a result, isolating the effect of overall survival to one intervention can be difficult. We believe response rate being a simple, objective and reproducible variable and also one that helps guide clinical treatments, that is to continue treatment or not, is extremely important and should be evaluated to potentially establish this as a surrogate using trial level association as opposed to individual level association. Thank you for the opportunity to present our study in gastroenterology.